what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? It looks like the demander in thief, Donald Trump, your president, has finally met his match in LeVar Ball. During an interview on Monday with CNN's Chris Cuomo, LeVar Ball once again declined to thank Donald Trump after his son, LiAngelo Ball, was released after being detained in China on suspicion of shoplifting. Instead, the great hero, LeVar Ball, said that he'd rather thank Xi Jinping the president of China. That's my man. That's my man. Way to go, Levar. Way to go, Levar. Peace. They don't like. They don't like when black people do like this. They like, they're scared of that sign. It's like, oh, it's like if you do this, it's gonna kill somebody. <laughs> they don't like that sign. Way to go, Levar. Free black man, boy. See, that's what it is, man. I figured it out. I finally figured it out. It's not what's being said, it's who's saying it, right? Some people in America, they don't like it when a black man exercise his freedom of speech. His freedom of speech. <laughs> They can't stand it, man. They, they, they hate the idea of a free black man. They'd rather support pedophiles and rapists. Think about it. Donald Trump, he'll protect a rapist before he protect a free black man. That's the country we're living in. I want to read some tweets to y'all because this is very disturbing. You say to yourself, how does the leader of the free world have time to send out tweets to be all on social media at four o'clock in the morning, sending out tweets to his detractors? Think about what I'm saying, y'all. This dude on Twitter this morning Four o'clock, damn near five o'clock in the morning, sending out a tweet about the NFL. This is what it says. The NFL is now thinking about a new idea, keeping teams in the locker room during the national anthem next season. That's almost as bad as kneeling. When will the highly paid commissioner finally get tough and smart? The issue is killing your league. Is this dummy not aware that prior to 2009 that the NFL players remained in the locker room when the national anthem was being played? They didn't come out until after the national anthem played. And people survived. Nobody complained. But all of a sudden, now, it's a problem. Now, nobody can live. Even all of the followers, the, the ones that's just jumping on the bandwagon, just getting behind Trump because he says so, they were like robots. They had no complaints. Now, all of a sudden, no, they got to come outside. They got to stand and salute the flag. Got what about the flag. They're not speaking nearly as loud. They're not as nearly upset about all of these rapists running rampant through America. They're not nearly as upset about all of these unjust police shootings. They're not nearly as upset about the economy. But they get pissed off if you don't stand for the flag. 
Seems like to me, a rational person would be more upset about the source of people, of why people are taking a knee, which is police brutality, inequality, discrimination. Those issues don't bother them. They have no problem with those issues. <laughs> That's why I like to rub it in your damn faces. Because you're going to listen whether you like it or not. I'm assuming you don't like it, but you're listening anyway. Go ahead. Leave a dirty comment. Oh, it's going to hurt my feelings. No, it's not. I'm just going to block your stinking ass. That's all. <laughs> another comment, y'all. Here's another tweet. This was directed to LeVar Ball. LaVar, you could have spent the next five to 10 years during Thanksgiving with your son in China, but no NBA contract to support you. That's what he said. This is him, but no NBA contract to support you. But remember, LaVar, shoplifting is not a little thing. It's a really big deal, especially in China. Ungrateful fool. This is the president of the United States talking like this, y'all. Like a common thug, like a common idiot. A common person with no class. He went on to say, it wasn't the White House. It wasn't the State Department. It wasn't Father Lavar's so-called people on the ground in China that got his son out of a long-term prison sentence. It was me, in all caps. Too bad. LaVar is just a poor man's version of Don King, but without the hair. Just think. You know, a person that lives in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I mean, come on, man. You got a really, really fucked up hair do yourself. You shouldn't talk. Don't bring attention to yourself like that. According to Trump, sexual offenders are suitable to be senators, but he can't stomach players kneeling. This guy has set the bar so low that you can't go under it. Who had that sound so high, you can't get over so low, you can't go under it. That's what that dude did, man. Donald Trump is a disgrace to the human race. He is beyond help. How in the hell did we allow this to happen? America is the laughing stock of the universe. People are clowning America all day long. 400, what we are, 300, 400 million people in America. And this is the best we can do? That just goes to show you how badly they want to maintain inequality. How badly they want to maintain the wealth disparity. How badly they want to maintain the prison industrial complex. How badly they want to maintain America's low ranking in education. And so on and so on and so on. Think about what I'm saying, y'all. This is the president of the free world. On social media at four o'clock in the morning, tweeting, trolling U.S. citizens, talking about some damn football. He mad about football. He mad about somebody who didn't thank him for what he did or may not have done. I don't even think he did nothing. It's like LeVar Ball said, if I went to get you, I would come back with you. Why he didn't come back with his son? 
I don't believe him. I think he's lying. I don't think he did anything. I think he's just trying to take the credit. Anytime something goes good, goes well, he's always trying to inject himself in there to try to take credit. He's always been doing He's done this forever. But he never takes credit for all those damn failed businesses. See, when he have a business that goes well, oh, he want to take full credit. But then when it doesn't go well, he leaves his investors out to hang and dry. And he try to you know, scurry off and duck and die, hide. That's, that's what he do. He always wants somebody else to take full responsibility for their actions, but he refuses to take full responsibility for his own actions. America, I feel sorry for you. America is going down. It's going to hell in a handbasket, and Donald Trump is carrying it. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.